What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video and in this one I want to break down what's going on with the Tesla Spy, Nvidia, the QQQ and a couple of other tickers and break down what's happening with the earnings that just came out, what the news is saying about the markets, what's going on with the economic calendar. But before I break into all this information, before I talk about the market may do and break down some very important levels, let me just mention a couple of things. Firstly, I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo with the link down below and deposit $100 into the account, you are guaranteed up to 5 free stocks. If you deposit $1,000, you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks. And the offer ends very, very soon. It ends today, so check it out before they run out. Anyways, now let's break down what's happening with the markets. Looking at SPY, we actually saw this thing push up towards this 500 resistance, filling this imbalance at 499, but we have this gap that's worth noting to fill down here. So we're going to be watching to see if we come down to fill this gap before getting some kind of balance. But overall, the trend is still bullish. The trend is still bullish on SPY for the short term. We're going to be watching to see if this thing can drop and balance real quick. We'll be watching to see what else this could do. I want to note that we have some more data coming out. We saw retail sales drop just a, bit, a little bit, which helps to bring yields down, which is helping the market hold up nicely. But I just want to call out that exports and imports were very close to expectations. We saw export prices a little bit below what we saw previously. Same thing with import prices year over year. Uh, and we also saw the 10-year Treasury yield kind of drop so far, which tends to be a little bullish for the markets. Now, we're going to be watching at 9.15 industrial and manufacturing production numbers month over month and year over year we'll see if all of this is aligned with expectations after that comes out so later on during the day we have the bill auctions coming out then we have waller from the fed giving a speech at 1 15 p.m eastern standard time so watch for that very carefully as far as earnings goes uh we had crocs and john deere coming out in the morning and during the afternoon today we have coinbase roku and DraftKings. DraftKings, excuse me, and also announcing their earnings. How did Crocs do? Crocs did very well. They beat on EPS. They beat on revenue, which is not bad whatsoever. And on top of that, the share price is pushing because their outlook is very, very bullish, exceeding expectations across all metrics. Great news for them. John Deere, on the other hand, uh, they actually fell because despite doing well on earnings, they actually missed on the full year outlook. And this is very important for other sectors out there. Uh, we are starting to see some sales falling for the U.S. agriculture and construction industry just slightly. So that being said, guidance was a little short for John Deere. That's why we saw the share price drop. For other things coming out there, you know, futures are still pushing higher right now, which is a good sign. We're going to be watching some key levels of resistance, which I'll be discussing very soon. On top of this, Cisco announced over 4,000 job cuts. I talked about this yesterday during their earnings. And that's what led to the share price dropping alongside them missing on guidance. Uh, the Federal Trade Commission is examining the impact of particular pieces of uh, you know, drug wholesalers and companies that purchase medicines for healthcare providers, which are having the drug shortage. This is very important. There's been an unprecedented strain on certain medicines, uh, especially when it comes to certain treatments. So that's something that's going to be important. There's also news coming out that uh, we're starting to see new changes in terms of housing, not to mention AI becoming more and more included, especially when more and more people are beginning to use chat GPT for dating advice and other things like that. So very interesting stuff right now. We're actually seeing this making headlines. So that's the reason why it's very important for companies to adjust to these changes and to be very, very careful when it comes to people who are trying to do uh, malicious things on it. So that's something that's worth noting. Anyways, uh, now I just want to talk about the share prices, talk about the stocks, how are things looking thus far. Spy is about to get a bullish cross on the PP, which tends to suggest more upside is coming. But with the data coming out, I'd still be kind of careful with this gap over here. So we could see Spy retrace a little bit when we open. Make sure you watch for this. Uh, it's about 499 or so, and I think it's going to be basing very, very close to that area. And then look for a little bounce. So I think it's going to drop a little bit right here, try to bounce back up. And we're going to be watching this resistance at 501. And what's very tricky about Spy is we have to determine it if this thing is going to be establishing a lower high here because we have this high up here right uh we're going to be watching the resistance since this thing is going to gap up watch it come down see if this thing can push higher again watch the resistance at 501 if we try to get there if we do break that 503 is our next target followed by 
505. So we'll see if we can try to break that high or not. I do anticipate it's going to come down a little bit and try to bounce. So watch that very, very carefully. Watch support at 499, 498, and then 496. I think Spy Retrace is just a little bit and tries to bounce, but we'll have to see if we can try to break this high right here. <laughs> Excuse me. Can we break 501 or can we break even higher? That's something we'll just have to watch for afterwards. So look for a little drop and bounce. That's going to be key for Spy for the time being. And we'll see if this thing can try to break 501 or how it reacts to these resistance levels. Now for Tesla, we pushed very nicely, but this thing is starting to turn a bit. I'm going to be looking for this thing to return to this 188 area. So look for a little retracement, but then it might shuffle in this range in the 188 to 187.5 zone, then bounce. So I think it might retrace just a bit, uh, but it might bounce again, start pushing up higher later on. So look for this little retracement on Tesla into the 188 area. I'm hoping it, as long as it holds around this area, we should be able to bounce. If we fail to hold, 186 is coming followed by 184. But I think it might drop and then bounce very, very nicely, start pushing back up to this 190 area, and then start pushing higher after that. So I'll be watching for that very, very carefully. But for now, uh, this is what I'm seeing. Make sure you guys watch that very, very carefully. When it comes to other tickers out there, such as the QQQ, I just want to mention that... The QQQ is also in a very, very similar uptrend right now. It's holding up a lot better than SPY. Look at this gap down here around 433.4. This is where the breakout area happens to be. Could come down just a little bit right here, then bounce and start pushing up towards 435. If that breaks, watch 436, followed by 438. So I think that this chart is still bullish. We're still on a very, very nice uptrend, but we could retrace a bit here, then bounce and start pushing up higher. So watch for that very carefully. We also have, happen to have this imbalance around 436.65. Uh, so I think it might drop a little bit, rebound, and start pushing even higher. I still think that the QQQ has a potential uptrend. On top of this, when it comes to NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA, wait, hold on. NVIDIA is still looking bullish uh, because, you know, we have this potential cup and handle-like structure. And when we watch and see this dip a little bit more, we could be retesting 734. If that fails us, our next target is going to be 730. And we'll watch for a bounce somewhere around that range, in my opinion. Now, we have a nice uptrend being established. If NVIDIA could try to start fighting the 740 zone, the 742, this could be a cup and handle uh, retest. So it drops a little bit and starts bouncing. And watch to see if we could break 742 to 745. If we break that resistance, expect a much bigger pump to be coming. So with this cup and handle, I'll be watching to see if we try to break this resistance. If we do do so, look for a bigger push to the upside. If we fail to break, or if we end up losing 730, expect this thing to come down to 725, or even lower levels like that. But with this cup and handle -like formation, I think there's a very good chance that NVIDIA tries to break the resistance and starts pushing up very nicely. So we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. I do think that this chart is favoring bulls a bit more. So watch and see if we can break the resistance. I do think NVIDIA has potential to do so. Now for Apple, Apple on the other hand is, it's been sinking and we hit 182 as support. We have resistance at 183.5 and 184. Overall, I think that there is potential for Apple to try to bounce here. But just to be safe, let's see if we can try to get above 183.5. Otherwise, we're just kind of a range bound. So we have support at 182, resistance at 183.5. We'll just have to see how it goes. If we break this resistance, look for a push back up to 184.25. If we fail to do so, we're just going to trade sideways over here. So watch and see how well it does. If we lose 182.5, we turn bearish, come down to 181. Otherwise, I see this just kind of trading sideways, being range bound, and eventually trying to break out later on. But that is it for the video, guys. Thank you all so much for listening. I hope my analysis was helpful. Have a great day. Remain calm, cool, and collected. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you, and peace out.